Hey, coming up next, the secrets and illusions of magician Jason Michaels, or illusionist. We'll ask him which one he likes. He's going to show us some of his new stuff and talk about a show he's got coming up. We'll be right back. Good afternoon. Welcome back to More at Midday. Our next guest is adding some more magic to the holiday season. He's illusionist Jason Michaels, and he's here to show us uh, a couple of tricks and to talk about a show you got coming up this weekend, right? That's right. That's right. Big show this yeah, weekend. Yeah, Middle Tennessee native. And right. um, uh, did you like, were you fascinated by illusions and magic as, as a kid growing up? You know, I've always been, uh, I, I, I credit my grandfather with really? that because he uh, he was always doing like little things, you yeah. know, or, around that I found fascinating as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I had family members that would give me like little magic kits and this mm -hmm. that and the other and then I was in high school and that's when I actually like really just got into just it boom huh? I just went after it full force it was huh. yeah cool all right now of course we're in the studio so you can't bring yeah. in your big stuff you put on a big stage show so oh, all yeah. kinds of cool stuff oh, yeah. but you're gonna show us a couple of samples that uh, that we may not have seen before you know? I, I thought I would show you something uh, like like you said uh, I would love to bring in the big stuff but uh, but what I have is I have a close-up mystery for you ah. a close-up it uses a okay. deck of cards okay. now typically when people see this type of thing if anybody has ever seen a card trick before what d normally happens the guy walks up he says hey pick a card any card. right what we're gonna do and I'm gonna show you the cards obviously you do have to select one but I'm gonna show them to you so you can get a good look at them so this isn't just a random selection this is your choice okay when you see one that you want take it out for me I'm gonna I'm gonna look um, away I don't want to see what it is I'm okay. not gonna look but do make sure that everybody at home gets a good look at it so that everybody is involved I'm not looking I can't see the monitors which which came you that one right there right. you want that one right there Tommy there we go. All, right, all right now I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a mix there and whenever you're ready tell me to stop and that's where we'll all right right there all right place your card back on the same order. that's perfect all right. we're gonna try to do this together watch instead of trying to find your card by looking through the cards face up mm -hmm. which you've seen the card face up mm -hmm. we're gonna try to find the card by looking through the cards face down where they all look okay hang on they don't all look the same there is one card it's very subtle but it does appear as though this card is uh right different. Different. slightly yeah. different does it look yeah. sort of like your seven of hearts wait a minute that was the one that's the one. Now, here's the thing about that. When you took the card out, did you notice the back of the card? Because most people pay attention I to the face. I didn't when I took it out. Okay. But I, I thought I did when I put it back in. I tell you what, I want to try to take this one step further. Okay. Ta take one more card out for me. We'll try to go a little bit further with this. Reach in and grab one. All right. Make sure there. that everybody at home takes a peek at it. I'm, again, I'm not looking. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take this one step further. I'm going to give the cards a little spring off my fingertips. And whenever you're ready, say stop. Stop. Place your card back. And All it's right. blue on the back? It is blue on the back. Uh -huh. Here we go. The first time we did this, you know, you've never seen it before. You don't know what's going to happen. The second right. time, if I give the cards a spring just like that, mm -hmm. your card jumps out of the middle of the deck right back. No, to no, it doesn't. If this is your card, that would be pretty good, right? Yeah, it would be Do me a cool. favor. Hold your hand out for me. The fact okay. that I can get your card, the king of uh, clubs, that is only slight. That was your card, right? The king? No. Did you not pick the king of clubs? No. It's okay. It's okay. Let me no. check one. Let me check one thing. Sometimes that happens. You know what I'm just going to ask you because I'm not sure what was your card. What Nine was of spades. You remember the card from before, the first card, the card on the table, Seven of the hearts. red card. Uh -huh. You see, it actually changes into the nine of spades. And what's all right, man, you're scaring me. Hey, dude. I'm going to scare you a little bit. Me, I'm going to scare you a little bit further. Right. Watch this. If I snap my finger over your card, check it's it out. It's not going to be the Turn seven it of over. Hearts. There oh, it no, is. Wait. It's the nine He's of spades. He's got two nine of spades. Man, you got a tricky deck here. <laughs> I wish that were the right. case. Now, quickly, this is this is this is this is fun stuff. This is yeah. very good. Oh, I, yeah. I'm I'm amazed. But you have big stuff. You go old school. Yeah. In, in your show Saturday Night in Cookville, right? Yeah, we're, well, we try to, it's funny because I, I like to keep, to, I like to go back in the history of magic, but at the same time, bring it up to date. Okay. We, we went back and I looked at the, the original song, A Woman in Half, okay. from the 1920s, when it was first introduced, when it was became a sensation. Mm -hmm. And it's the version where you bring a girl up, put her on a table, strap her down, and have audience members literally holding her down. She's strapped to the table, then you take two razor sharp blades, boom. Put her through, put the blades through her, separate her in two pieces, and then you put her back together, and she's totally unharmed at the end. But like this is what made Using song a woman. It, wow. Well, it, you know the people are actually involved. So hey. if you want to see something amazing, yeah, yeah. then this Saturday, this, this, is this the Saturday, this good Saturday. stuff. Jason is awesome as as usual. 